Hi and welcome to the channel. Um, if you've been here before, welcome back. If it's your first time, stick around because today we're going to do a little unboxing of a little gadget for the van. So while we were away last time uh, at the Outer Hebrides, um, I had my laptop with me but it soon runs out of power and I've got no way of charging the laptop in the van. Um, I did order, it, it is a MacBook Pro and I know they're, they're like a higher amperage or whatever for their charging. Um, I did order um, cables I've tried in the past and into the, the higher amperage USBs that I put in the dash a few months back but still no joy with that. Um, when I bought the van I did actually get a, a big inverter with it but it's a big huge thing um, so I haven't actually set that up. Um, we don't actually go on any uh, campsites or caravan parks or everything we use is chargeable via USB or cigarette lighter or whatever. So anyway, I put a post out on um, one of our local Facebook groups, uh, Durham Dubs, and there was a guy came back and said he uses this product or a very similar product. So anyway, managed to order one, uh, ordered this yesterday and it's turned up the day. So I thought I'll do a quick unboxing of it and we'll give it a try and see if it works and it might come in handy for somebody else. So what this actually is, is Odegar, I think that's how it's pronounced, um, and it's a 300 watt power inverter um, that actually plugs into your cigarette lighter. Um, it's dual USB as well, can be used for Mobile phones, tablets, laptops, lights, fans, plus a load of other stuff. Um, so I thought, do a little unboxing of it. We'll check it out, we'll test it with a, the laptop, see if it actually works, and then uh, get your thoughts. Right, so obviously this is the, the box. Get that open. Right, let's see what comes in. So we've got a happy, sad, awesome card. Hopefully everything is fine and it is awesome. Comes with uh, the instructions. So the model of this one is SGRNX30 12SK-4. High quality power inverters. I've got product diagram, um, index, it is all in English and looks to be quite clear and easy to read as well. Um, so this inverter is intended for use with appliances of up to 300 watts. Um, so yeah, there's a few bits and pieces in there. Obviously, typical block. We'll just plug it in. See what happens. Um, so first impressions, it's nice and small. Um, so just to give you a bit of a, that's my phone, iPhone. So yeah, so not much bigger than iPhone um, on the back. Obviously we've got the cable with the cigar lighter end. It's probably got a proper name, but I don't know what that is. Uh, there's an on-off switch on the back. And on the front, we've got three pin socket, uh, USB socket and USB-C socket by the looks of it. So that's literally all that's in the box. Um, so let's try this out, shall we? So if we pull out the cigarette light a bit and I'll untie that flex for now. It has one of them nice Velcro bits on so you can tidy it away as well. Right, so we'll just plug that into there and just turn it on. I haven't got my ignition on so that's good so that doesn't come on with 
without ignition, which I sort of guessed. <clears throat> now I know when I was using my paddleboard pump, um, the ignition, I could actually charge it, um, sorry, I could actually use the pump while it, the ignition was just on auxiliary, but it was a lot better when I actually started the engine. The pump really kicked in and it was very easy. So I'm just gonna start this up um, and we'll do it that way. So we'll turn that on. Right, now I've got a power light on <laughs> there. It's a little bit intermittent. I'm not sure whether that's a bad connection inside of there. That might be the cigar light that itself, or it may be. Let's just turn that round a bit and give it a bit of squash in. Hard to see if that's actually a light on. It looks like it is on. So anyway, let's try. So I have me laptop cable here. Plug that into there. And then into the laptop. So we have got the charging symbol on there. I'm not sure how clear that is. So we've got the battery with the, the voltage line through it. So I'm just going to lean across and turn this charger off via the switch. Yeah, so the minute I turn it off via the switch, you can see the symbols changed on the battery. And flick that back on. I flick the back on there and within a second we've got the charging symbol again. Hope you can see that there. It's just yeah, so flick that back on now we've got the charging signal. So finally got something to charge the laptop. So hopefully when I'm away we can actually do a little bit of editing if need be or even um, I work from home a few days a week. So it's nice sometimes um, at the moment we can head down towards the beach um, and I can sit and work on my laptop with the back doors open and just taking in the sea air and listening to the waves. Um, now obviously this laptop is, it does really well anywhere with its battery but um, even better now because I can charge it on the way down if it's slightly short of any battery power. This inverter um, nice and cheap um, it was 39 pound that's the size of it you can see the the plug socket that goes in that's the inverter there's a uh, plenty of cable for that to sit on the floor um, and charge the laptop either on the seat or on the floor uh, what did I say it was called uh, Odegar so O D O G A. Um, 39 pound looks like it's doing the job um, straight away so that's perfect um, see how things go with it but it's nice and small um, nice and cheap uh, so yeah absolutely perfect I'll leave a link down in the description uh, if anybody wants one click on the link buy it through Amazon I get a little bit of uh, kickback from Amazon if you do that um, so I'd really appreciate that I forgot you can actually unplug that USB see out the back of this big duft plug that uh, Apple supply so you've just got the cable with um, well Thunderbolt and USB-C on either end so you have um, that plugged into the laptop and then that 
plugged into there. Obviously there's a USB on the side of there as well, but uh, we've got that one into there. And then if I open up this, you can see on there that it is charging just in the top corner. I'm just trying to focus you in. So yeah, that's charging just with that cable. I haven't got that big daft plug on there. And this charger itself, as I said, I mean, I showed you it up against the iPhone, really small. And it's not heavy either. It probably weighs less than a can of pop. So maybe it's 300, 350 grams, something like that. Um, so I'm wondering whether I could actually mount this somehow to somewhere underneath the dash that's easily accessible. Um, I don't know, wait and see, we'll see what happens, see if I can find somewhere comfortable or tidy for it to go. Um, but it definitely seems to be doing the job, working. Nice bit of kit, very cheap, £39 and it's doing the job. So yeah, check it out. Till next time, see you soon.